a friend demanding justice in the killing of an actor in Southwest Atlanta. Officers found Thomas Jefferson Bird shot multiple times early Saturday morning on Belvedere Avenue. Yeah, that's right, Aisha. Bird appeared in many of Spike Lee's movies in an Uplate exclusive. 11 Alive's Hope Ford spoke to one of his friends who was trying to make sense of his death. He shouldn't have been killed like that. It didn't make sense. He had no f enemies that, that you would, somebody would shoot him down in the street like a dog. No. Afemo Amalami no, no, no. wants to see the person who killed his friend, Thomas Jefferson Bird, brought to justice. Both actors met in the late 70s in Georgia. Amalami says Bird was, well, a rare bird. If you didn't bring it, you got smoked because Thomas was the ultimate professional. He did not play and he knew his work. Bird was gunned down in Southwest Atlanta. Police haven't released many details in the investigation. The 70 year old's death is personal, not just with Amalami, but a popular director Bird worked with often, Spike Lee. The director posting video tributes to Bird on Instagram. He was just kicking in the next phase of his life and taken away so brutally. For what? Amalami performed with his friend one last time in what is now Bird's final movie, Freedom's Path. It wrapped this year in Arkansas. Thomas and I look at each other and what are, what, what are two black behinds doing up here in Arkansas, freezing off in October? In the film, the you know, two worked on the Underground work, Railroad you know. trying to free slaves. Now Amalami says he will work to free Bird's spirit by calling for anyone to come forward with information about his death. Don't let this just be another black man shot down. So what? No, 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 it can't be that. By the way, Amalami runs the local nonprofit organization, Hosea Helps, and plans to dedicate this year's Thanksgiving dinner to Bird.